Hey, what is going on fam? It's your boy Swift and today we're gonna be testing out Zenkai 7 buffed Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I finally got around to finishing my rushes and getting that Zenkai 7 on Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I know my homie Rayudin would be proud of me. Um, but yeah, the first thing I thought of was I can finally Zenkai buff Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. So let's jump in. All right, first match, we got a Saiyan team with LF Bardock and the Blue Boys. Um, oh, that's not a good start. Uh, I'm not going to lie, my opinion on Bardock has slightly changed a little bit. Um, I always knew he was decent. I, I never really said that he was bad, but when he first came out, I definitely underestimated him. And the more that I play against that uh, yellow LF Bardock, um, it seems like he's actually not that bad at all. Um, you know, he really is not that bad, so my opinion on him has definitely changed a little bit. Uh, but yeah, let me focus up before this guy, before this guy just completely beats my, beats my ass. Okay. Okay, this guy just does not sidestep. Okay, there's the sidesteps, thank you. Doing some decent damage here. Not too shabby. I really have no reason to switch back to Goku. I think it's just smarter for me to stay with Vegeta and hold that type advantage over um, both of his yellow units. Okay, he's going to have a blue card. i got to watch out for that. Okay. And yeah, I think he's dead. Yeah, he's definitely, this is definitely going to be a dead blue boy, so that actually worked out really nicely. Oh, he tackles. Okay. Obviously, Bardock does have endurance, but I'm going to still rush. Oh, he doesn't even go to Bardock. Okay. Uh, it's just going to be, it's actually going to be probably pretty tough to get through Bardock, but I guess we do have type advantage with uh, the blue boys. No, he guesses me. Of course. Please sidestep. Thank you. But see, now he can just go to Bardock, and he knows I'm not going to really be able to get through him. You know, I kind of wish I'd just used that ultimate. That was kind of a waste, just not even using it. I should have used it and then swapped out, but whatever. Ooh, got him. There's no way it kills, though. Okay, now he's dead. Or actually, he's going to sack off the Goku. I should have um, I should have popped the blue card right after the perfect vanish, because then I could have secured the kill on Bardock. But it is what it is. I'm fairly confident uh, I should be able to deal with Bardock here. Okay. That is not going to be game, but almost. Okay. I think Bardock's ultimate nullifies endurance, right? So this will probably be a dead future Gohan. Oh wait, does he not have his ultimate anymore? He might have already used it. My memory is... You guys already know my memory is is, is absolutely horrible. But uh, GG's, let's uh, jump into the next one. Okay, we got an LOE team with Chilled, which is interesting. I normally see the purple LF Frieza more than I see Chilled, but we'll see how this goes. I'm doing, like, zero damage. But then again, I think future Gohan kind of has to get ramped up on some of his buffs before he starts doing crazy damage. Nice tackle. Sidestep. Oh, if I would have clicked that green just a second earlier, I would have had him. That doesn't hurt that much because we uh, take all incoming damages type neutral on Gogeta. Alright, I'm going to try to confuse him a little bit. Um, 
Let me see if I can get that last Dragon Ball. There we go. Okay, I'm going to switch and rush. I'm assuming he's going to go into his Endurance unit. Oh, he called my bluff. Very nice play. Um, I feel like a lot of people would have just swapped into their Endurance unit right there. And I would have been happy just getting rid of the Endurance. Dude, I got guessed again! What the hell? I mean, I'm not even sure if that would have killed, but still, it, it, it always sucks getting guessed. That might have killed, though. You never know with Blue Boys. Alright, we are immune to that, so I can just go right away. Another uh, very, very nice thing that Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta has, where he's just immune to abnormal conditions. Okay, that's fine. Take away those buffs. And he goes to Chilled, which is fine. We'll do some decent damage here. Yeah, that's actually not bad damage at all. Oh, he had double blues. Oh, I'm out of that, my good sir. Okay, GG's. Yeah, I'm really glad I was uh, patient right there. Alright, good old mono purple. Um, it might just be me, and maybe this is a hot take. Uh, I recently tweeted about this, but I honestly don't get intimidated by Mono Purple that much anymore. Um, don't get me wrong, Mono Purple is definitely still a top tier team, but for whatever reason, I just don't really get intimidated by them that much anymore. I feel like there's just better teams out there. You know, if you have like a really, really stacked uh, double endurance future team, I think that's a way harder team to get through. Um, a really stacked LOE team, you know, a really stacked fusions team. I feel like there's just a handful of other teams that are just better than Mono Purple these days. So, while Mono Purple is definitely still a good team, I just feel like um, they're just not as intimidating as they once were. A nice combo drop right there. That was actually a really nice combo drop. Okay, got him here. Ah, okay, okay. I was thinking he was gonna try to go for something right there. Dude, this guy's got the got the combo drops on lock. Holy cow. Gotta give the man props. Okay. I mean I'm not really in a bad spot here, but I'm not in a great spot either. Okay, let's go to Blue Boys. He caught me. He could have almost just rushed right there if he wanted to. Dude, the, this guy with the combo drops, man. Maybe it's just me being predictable. I don't know. Oh, but see, he waited way too long on that one. And as long as I don't get guessed again, I, I'll be glad to get rid of uh, Super Vegito here. If I get guessed here, this is literally three games in a row. Okay, thank God. Thank God. Alright, now it's going to be 3v2. It's going to make things a little bit easier, but I still got to play kind of cautiously here. Alright, let's tap. Got him. It's actually not bad damage. Ooh! That's huge! That is huge, the fact that that tackle actually went through and he didn't catch me. I don't think this kills, though. But just gaining priority right there gives me the perfect amount of time to swap out. Or actually, I can maybe get my Vanish back? No! I was hoping to get the Vanish back. I should have just swapped out like I was originally going to do. Ah, he gets the PV. I'm still not in a bad spot, though. You have no Vanish. You still have no Vanish. All right, now we just got to deal with blue boys. Okay, that should be game. Yep, we still got the main ability with Gogeta. Might as well uh, get the fancy finish. You know, we're showcasing the... Oh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> GG's.
All right, we got another mono purple team. Oh, I'm, usually I'm usually I'm pretty good about stopping uh, stopping tackles. That was just bad reactions on my part. Okay, I'll take the priority. Got him in the sidestep. Unfortunately, I don't have that much key. That's some really good damage, though. Especially to uh, blue boys on a mono purple team. Hopefully I destroy his blue card here. Nice taps. Yeah, I was not going to let you catch me with the tackle again, my guy. And I think this is a dead blue, boys. I, honestly, I think that one tackle right there probably threw the match for this guy. Um, that was just not a situation where you want to tackle. Especially when you don't have uh, time to swap out. So, I think I'm in a pretty good spot here. And now it's honestly, it's going to be really tough for him to get through future Gohan. Even with Super Vegito. Um, who we can just rush, or I can just do this. Okay, GG's. Oh, this is kind of a cool setup, man. Props to this guy. Does he actually bring robbery, though? He does! Okay, props to this dude. I, you know, looking at this team, this is actually not going to be an easy team to take down. He's got double endurance, he's got two very strong yellow units. Um, robbery's obviously pretty tanky. We'll see how this goes. Oh, I, I, you know, I was about to just YOLO click a blue card right there, and I kind of wish I did. Okay, that was a very bad tackle on my part. I knew he had more cards in his hand. Ooh, he, nice patience. This guy's playing really well. Like, really well. He's going to pop that really, really early, though. That's fine, because we can just uh, switch... And once again, I really have no reason to switch back to Goku. You know, I got the type advantage over over his two yellow units here. There's Robbery. Some very good damage. Yeah, I know when Robbery first came out, he was actually really tanky. Um, ah, another bad time for me to tackle. Especially after me getting my, my Vanish back right there. I should have just waited to Vanish. But yeah, I was saying, when Robbery first came out, he was actually really tanky. Um, but, you know, nowadays with the Blue Boys, uh, his tankiness probably is not a, as effective. Can I get a Strike card, please? Holy cow. It was like two situations right there where if I would have had a Strike card, I would have gained priority. But just the fact that I had all Blast cards, um, he was able to tap me. Got him in the sidestep. That was huge. Let's combo drop. Okay, yep, I had a feeling he was going to try to do that. And I think he's almost going to be forced to go to robbery here. This might be a dead robbery, I'm actually not even sure. Oh yeah, yep, yeah, he's dead. Okay. So I got one more endurance unit to deal with. This is going to drop combo. He does catch it. Oh, nice timing, dude. Very nice timing. I was even, like, kind of patient right there. I could have been more patient, but I had a little bit of patience right there. That was nice timing on his part. Obviously, this is going to be a dead future Gohan, which is kind of unfortunate, but I uh, didn't want to sack off, uh, did not want to sack off my blue boys. Oh, nice timing again. You know, I think I'm actually in a decent spot here, though. I mean, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta's tanking really well. And I got type advantage over both of his units with blue boys. Yeah, I think I should be able to win this one. 
But like I said in the beginning, I gotta give the I gotta give this guy props for running this team. While I mean he is running two very strong yellow units, but just throwing robbery into the mix is kind of interesting. Um, it seems like a cool setup. And how many times is my rush gonna get gassed? Holy cow! Holy cow! That's three out of four matches so far. Like literally. I'm getting my rush guessed like 75% of the time right now. Which is just nuts, considering there's four card choices. Like, technically it should be 25% of the time, right? But, sometimes you only get strike choices, or, you know, sometimes you only get strike and blast choices, stuff like that. But, always, uh, kind of tilting when you get, when you get your rush guessed this much. Okay, that is going to be game. He just didn't have a vanish right there. But yeah, once again, props to this dude. Very cool team setup. Um, and he actually played really well. GG's. All right, we got another LOE team. And this guy's actually got a lot of RP. So I'm assuming he's going to be a decent player. Yeah, this right here, this yellow, yellow, blue setup with LOE is insanely good. Like, this setup right here is the one reason I actually kind of want to summon on Frieza's uh, banner. Um, which I still haven't really summoned on yet. But... This team is just crazy good. You got Revival and Endurance. Um, and honestly, basically every unit on that team actually does decent damage. So, this LOE team can be very tough to get through. Nice timing right there. Kind of unfortunate for me, but we can stop the combo. Oh, I clicked it late! That's so sad. No way, he just pops it immediately. He does! Wow, this guy's got some balls. That was risky. I mean, he saw me coming up to mid-range. Okay, got him with the blast armor. Um, he saw me coming up to mid-range right there, but there's no way he knew I was tackling. Like, for all he knows, I was going up to mid-range and swiping. So, I'm going to pop this right away because we, uh, we took a lot of damage on Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. So, I think just healing right there was important. And we'll trigger the revival here. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was uh, that was not a bad move right there. We got Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta pretty high health again. No! That right there was a bad move. And he goes right away. That's unfortunate. I don't know why my brain thought he was, he was striking, but it was just a tackle. Normally, I can differentiate the two, but, you know, sometimes we, we all make mistakes. You guys know how it goes. Okay, got the PV. Let's go to Blue Boys, because the faster I can switch to Vegeta, the better. Oh, he does go to full power freeze. That makes sense. I'll let that tap attack hit me so I can switch. Yeah, a lot of people uh, do those tap attacks, and there's certain units that benefit heavily from those tap attacks. Even future Gohan, I think. Um, you know, if somebody's tap attacking you with future Gohan, just let those taps hit you. And you end up picking up a lot of extra buffs. Okay, this is going to be a dead Revival Frieza. And now as long as I don't let Blue Boys die, I should be fine. Okay. Dude, I'm doing like zero damage. It's actually really impressive how tanky this, uh, this uh, Zenkai Frieza is. I'm currently working on finishing his Zenkai. I think I have him Zenkai 3. But once I get him to like Zenkai 6, Zenkai 7, I'm planning on uh, testing him out um, on a couple different teams in the leader slot. So. I'll probably end up making a video. Oh, I am out of that, my good sir. I love how we both whiffed our rushes. <laughs> like literally both of us messed up our rush. It's kind of funny. Does he have enough time to swap out? I don't think he does. Nice. Okay. I think this is basically going to be game. I don't think there's really any world where he can come back right here. Like, his best chance of winning was rushing the blue boys, and obviously he, he missed his rush, so... I think that is basically going to be game. Yep, GG's. And with that being said, I think that will be the last match of the video. 
In conclusion, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is obviously busted. I think we all know that. He's an incredible unit. But it was just fun uh, playing with him with the full Zenkai 7 buffer on the bench. Um, definitely gave him some extra damage output and some extra defenses. But yeah, thank you guys so much for stopping by, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.